Abba Father, hallowed be your name this morning. Abba Father, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. We receive the revelation for this day. We receive the insight for this day. We receive the wisdom for this day. We receive the unction for this day. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Almighty God, that out of our bellies are flowing the rivers of living water. For our God is great and greatly to be praised. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. We surrender to you with open face, O God. With open face, nothing will veil us. We refuse to be veiled. We refuse to be veiled by our own attitudes or the traditions and the teachings and the philosophies of men. Our faces are open. We are ready to receive the glory of the living God with open face, beholding as in a glass, as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord. We are being transfigured. We are being transformed into the image of Jesus from glory to glory as by the spirit of the Lord. Thank you for taking us to another dimension of your glory. Thank you for taking us to a newness of a realm, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we bless you. Hallelujah, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We've been praying about the Holy Spirit so far. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 19 from verse 6 that Apostle Paul had to lay hands on the people in Corinth and they had gone through Ephesus and they, they, they had asked these disciples, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? And they had said, we have not so much as of heard if there be any Holy Spirit. They didn't even know about the Holy Spirit. But when Paul laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them and they spoke with tongues and prophesied. Remember, these people have not even heard if there's any Holy Ghost anywhere. But you and I have already heard. We have known him. He is with us. And so there's no reason why you ought not to be prophesying this morning. These people who had never heard of the Holy Ghost, Paul lays his hands on them and they start speaking in tongues and they start prophesying. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that for each and every one of us on this prayer line, that the spirit of prophecy will break out. Let your children begin to prophesy in the name of Jesus. Speak forth and be able to pray new realities into existence. Prophesy. Speak forth uh, and be able to agree with the mind of God. Uh, discern the mind of God uh, for every situation in your life. Uh, may God give you that grace this morning to discern the mind of God uh, that you begin to receive. Uh, what is the mind of God concerning this situation? And begin to prophesy. Begin to speak the mind of God. Uh, begin to declare the mind of God. Uh, begin to speak and it comes to pass. Uh, begin to decree a thing uh, and it is established unto you. And light begins to shine uh, on the decrees. Uh, and the declarations that you're making in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I thank you that your spirit is here. Your spirit is here and you are flowing like a river and out of our bellies are flowing the rivers of living water. We know that rivers are not personal property. Rivers are for the benefit of the nation. Everyone on this prayer line will become of huge benefit to the nations where they are. Everyone on this prayer line, oh God, shall become that gift that you have given to the community, that gift you've given to the nation in the place of prayer. As they lift up their voices and pray, the whole community is transformed. The whole nation is transformed for out of their bellies are flowing the rivers of living water in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Oh, we worship you. We worship you. We glorify your name. Be exalted, oh God. Be exalted. Be exalted. Be magnified. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 47 gives us insight into that river of living water that is flowing out of the throne of God. And the Bible says about this, this, this river, about these waters, as they were flowing, they were flowing at different levels. When the water came out, initially, the man that had the measuring line measured a thousand cubits. This is uh, Ezekiel 47 verse three. And he says, he brought me through the waters and the waters were to the ankles. So that's like a low level. 
you know, by the ankle. You're feeling the river of the Holy Spirit, but it's by the ankles. And then he measured again a thousand and he brought me through the waters and the waters were to the knees. So the levels increased. He measures again a thousand. He brings me through the water and the water were to the loins. And then afterwards, verse five, and this is the level you and I want this morning. We are asking from God because he says, ask and you will receive in Matthew 7, 7. He says afterwards, he measured, he measured a thousand and it was a river that I could not pass over for the waters were risen waters to swim in a river that could not be passed over in other words this is the point where you cannot recover from the holy ghost he's in you he's around you he's around is over your head under everywhere you are swimming in his presence let's begin to ask him this morning holy spirit May I be immersed 100% in you, Holy Spirit. May there be no part of me that the Spirit is not flowing through. May he flow through every part of my being. May everything that concerns me be overwhelmed by the presence of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I want to be in the river, swimming in the river. I don't just want the ankle level or the knee level or the loin level, but let the river flow. Let the river flow. Let everything about me, all that is within me, all that is around me, be completely immersed in the Holy Spirit. More of you, O Lord, more of you, nothing of me. I just want you, Lord, more of you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We worship you. We glorify your name. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And when that river began to flow, when that river began to flow, the Bible says, and it shall come to pass, this is Ezekiel 47 verse 9, and it shall come to pass that everything that leaves, everything which moves, wheresoever the river shall come, it shall live. When that river touches you, if there is a cell in your body that is dying right now, as the river touches you, that cell comes back to life. If there is any part of your life that is dead, that is shut down as the river touches you, the Bible says wherever it shall live. Whatever lives, whatever moves. Me and you, we are alive, we are moving. But as the Holy Spirit is touching us, there is a new dimension, the life-giving force of Jesus. The Zoe life, the power of an endless life is injected in us. And what is dead comes to life. Prayer life that is dead comes to life. Bible study life that is dead comes to life. Service in the house of God that is dead comes to life. Whatever it is about us, it comes to life. Let's begin to receive this morning that Lord, as the river of the Holy Spirit is flowing, because I know he's flowing. Let anything in my life that is dying, any good thing that is dying, any good thing, let it come back to life. Let there be life and life in abundance. Jesus says, I have come that they might have life and life in abundance. Jesus didn't die for you to just manage life. Let the river flow. Let every part of our bodies come to life. Every part of us, oh God, every organ in our body, may it receive the the way. Let the Zoe of Jesus be upon us. Father God, we pray even for that young man, Levi. That young man, Ife Olua Levi. We pray for him this morning. Every cell in his body, let it come to life. Let the river flow and touch him. Let the river flow to the hospitals. Let the river flow to the cancer wards. Let the river flow to the ICU, the intensive care unit. Oh Lord, let the river flow to the Skaboon, to the special care baby unit. Let the river flow. Those preterm babies. We release life into you. Let the river flow in the skabua. Life and life in abundance. In the name of Jesus. Father, let your river, let your river touch every life. Bring back to life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' name, amen. Bible says in that Ezekiel 47, in the latter part of the verse, it says for they shall be healed and everything shall live wherever the river comes. 
They shall be healed and everything shall live. Let's declare it in the name of Jesus. Father, as your river is flowing in our midst, they shall be healed. The sick shall be healed. And those who have been troubled by one thing or the other, they live abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus. Regado sofre que te le borobo chanta la borobo sia, ma cande le barragado si anda la bocia, re papa 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 papa, e cadulambrado sopre de le baba, in the name of Jesus, flow like a river, Lord, flow like a river, regate de brega de le bocia, robo bobo bobo zin telele brada, de que de le brogodo sofre de le bahanda, oria baba ba sen telele braduska balagada, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ezekiel 47 verse 12. I'm reading the complete Jewish Bible translation. It says, On both banks of the river will grow all kinds of trees for food. Their leaves will not dry up, nor will their fruit fail. There will be a different kind of fruit each month. So like now, we are in the month of November. There'll be a different kind of fruit for the month of November because the water flows from the sanctuary of God so that this fruit will be edible and the leaves will have healing properties. I want us to, to declare this this morning, that Lord, we are receiving the, the, the unique fruit that has been released from the river of life for this month that we are in. We receive the unique fruit. We receive this fruit that is edible. We will enjoy this month because there is something you've brought out from your presence for this month. And we enjoy that fruit. And Lord, we thank you. able to do what no man can do. Lord, you are able to do it. This morning we receive that fruit that comes from the tree of life, from the tree of God, and we are transformed. Yes, we eat in the realm of the spirit and we are changed forevermore in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Oh, we bless your name. Hallelujah to the King of glory. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Let's go to the book of 2 Kings, 2 Kings chapter 13, 2 Kings chapter 13. The Bible says, now Elisha, 2 Kings 13 from verse 14. Now Elisha was sick with the sickness that he was going to die from. And Joash, the king of Israel, came down to him and wept over his face and said, oh, my father, my father the chariots of Israel and the horsemen thereof. He was saying in other words, the same chariot that carried Elijah into glory. He could see it on its way to carry Elisha into glory. But he knew that he cannot let Elisha go unless he receives something. In the same way, you and I, we ought to take the posture of the woman with the issue of blood. We hang on to the hem of his garment. And like Jacob wrestled with the Lord, we say, Lord, in this season of prayer, I refuse to let you go until I am blessed. I want you to lift up your voice and pray to the Lord. You can see that I cannot miss this season. Joash was saying, the chariots of Israel and the horsemen thereof, if I don't act now, my father, if you don't help me now, you're about to go and I will lose what I'm supposed to get. Jesus, you are here. This is my hour of visitation. I hang on to the hem of your garment. I must receive what I need right now for this family, for this genealogy, for this bloodline. What is it this morning, child of God, that you need from the hem of his garment? 
begin to touch his garment this morning. Uh, Jesus, my master. Jesus, uh, my Lord. Uh, Adonai, uh, I hang on to you this morning uh, because there must be a transformation. Uh, there must be a change. Uh, I don't want to miss this window of opportunity. This fifth day of November 2022 will not come back again. Uh, this is the day I've been given. Uh, this is the opportunity I've been given. Uh, on this day, number five, representing grace. Uh, I receive your grace that transforms. Uh, I receive your grace that changes life. Uh, I receive your grace uh, that writes a new chapter in my life. Uh, I stretch forth my faith, uh, just like the woman with the issue of blood. Uh, and I receive from Jesus this morning. I receive from Jesus this morning. Uh, I will not miss the window of opportunity in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Elisha takes Joash and says to him, Take um, your bow and arrows, which were the weapons of his warfare. Now think about us. We have Jesus in this position now. And, 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 and he says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God. So in your hands, there are weapons that you have been given this morning. Just be mindful of your weapons. And then he says to him, put your hand upon the bow. And then Elisha put his hands upon the hands of Joash. So as Joash holds the bow, Elisha puts his hands on top. This morning, Jesus is doing the same. You've put your hands on your weapons of warfare, but the hand of Jesus is on top of your hand so that the power that releases the weapon is not your power, is the power of Jesus. And then he says, open the window eastward. Open the window. And then he says, shoot the arrow and he shot. That shot was not just the shooting of the power of Joash, but that shot had the anointing of God that was upon Elisha. And you can know that that arrow reached its target. This morning, you and I, we have the weapons of our warfare and Jesus has his hands on our hands. You are opening a window in the realm of the spirit. You open a portal. So that as you shoot the weapon, it lands on the target, wherever this weapon is supposed to land this morning, so that you and your bloodlines and your generations to come can be free indeed and enjoy your life. That weapon is going to land there in the camp of the enemy. Lift up your voice and begin to pray and say, Lord Jesus, I thank you that your hand is upon my hand this morning and the power of the Holy Spirit is upon me this morning. I thank you this morning, oh God. I thank you this morning, uh, your hand upon my hand, uh, your power upon my, uh, your power upon me, oh God. Your hand upon me, oh God. Your power upon me, oh God. The weapons of my warfare are not carnal. Therefore, this morning, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I release the weapons of war. I release the weapons of war. I release the weapons of war. Let there be a portal opened in the realm of the spirit. Let there be a window that is opened up right now, mighty Jesus. Holy Spirit of the living God, open those portals. Let your people, oh God, let them hit that target. Let the weapon land where it's meant to land in the name of Jesus. Let the camp of the enemy be unable to escape. Whatever needs the weapon to land on it. Right now, this morning, let it land. Let it land. In the name of Jesus, let the arrow of the Lord be fired into the camp of wickedness. Into the camp of darkness. Let the arrow of the Lord be shot into the very headquarters of wickedness. Wherever wickedness has settled itself uh, to work against the purposes of God uh, in our lives. Uh, let the arrow of God land upon them this morning in the name of Jesus. Uh, let it be like uh, that air missile that we see the armies using in our days. Uh, that missile that doesn't miss. Uh, 
in the name of Jesus, the hand of Jesus and the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, let it loose those weapons of our warfare and let them devastate uh, the power bases of the enemy, the power bases of wickedness uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, thank you, Father, for opening those portals in the realm of the spirit uh, and devastating the powers of darkness in Jesus name. Amen. When the King Joash was shooting the arrow, Elisha declared, the arrow of the Lord's deliverance, the arrow of deliverance, the arrow of the Lord's deliverance. I prophesy over us this morning, uh, the arrow of deliverance has been released uh, by the Lord uh, through your prayer this morning uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, let deliverance come to your home. Uh, let it come to your family. Let it come to your city. Uh, let it come to your nation. Uh, deliverance from every form of satanic oppression. Whatever is limiting your joy, limiting your peace, uh, limiting your well-being. Uh, let the arrow of deliverance uh, shut it down right now. In in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prophet Elijah wanted King Joash to keep smiting the ground. He says, take an arrow and hit the ground. Because this ground must yield its increase to us. This ground must respond to us. Is there any evil program that Satan has programmed into the ground that is causing the ground to be hard, causing the land not to favor you, causing your promotions to be delayed and your breakthroughs to be delayed? Let the arrow of the Lord smite the ground. Now, King Joash was rebuked because he only hit the ground three times and stopped. And the prophet said, why did you stop? If you had continued, your victory would have been everlasting. But you, you will only be victorious three times because you only prayed three times. Sometimes people wonder, why are we praying again and again? It's because we have to keep smiting the ground. I want you to lift up your voice again and begin to release the weapons of God into the ground. This land must respond to you. Any evil programs are programmed into the land, wherever you are right now, into the ground. Whatever's been programmed that is stopping you from becoming everything God ordained, let the arrow of the Lord hit this ground uh, and let the ground loose its increase unto you. Let the ground loose your blessing. Uh, let the ground loose your, your harvest uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, this land will not be difficult for you. Wherever you live will not be difficult for you. For the ones who are blessed, uh, it doesn't matter where they live in the world. Uh, everywhere they live becomes the Goshen of God uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father God, we declare whatever's programmed into the ground uh, by rituals, uh, by incantations, uh, Father God, by the pouring of libation whatever they've done to the ground where we live wherever they've programmed failure oh god they've programmed slavery they've programmed oppression they've programmed disappointment they've programmed diseases and cancer and things father in the name of jesus we deprogram the ground we lose the weapons of our warfare into the ground and we say let this ground be delivered from every bondage for the earnest expectation of the creature is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. So we, the sons and daughters of the Most High God, we manifest this morning and we lose the ground from bondage. We lose the ground from satanic programs. We lose the ground from satanic prophecies of darkness, utterances of wickedness, evil prophecies and evil incantations. We lose the ground from it in the mighty name of Jesus. We say, ground, oh ground, you are loosed. Hele kele katula bahanda levrado so in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen and amen. So the, the first one, I saw this place. I, I located this place as being somewhere in Africa. And there was this white garment church and they were releasing negative prophecies over people. And I, I saw that some of the people they were speaking over, you know, are like children of God who ought to know better. But they were there helpless because these prophets were telling them all sorts of things. And one of the prophecies was this. It was, I saw you, your head had been cut off your body. And your body had been pieced up into pieces and this and the other. And so I, in that dream, I was standing by the door and I said, so after you've spoken this, what is the solution? What is your solution for your prophecy? And he didn't have any solution. 
And I said, so what, what, after what you said, what is the result? So what, 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 how will these people be helped? I just want us to pray right now that is there anyone who is connected to us or any one of us who has received a strange prophecy, a strange prophecy that is designed to lift up Satan. Let's pray that let those prophecies be revoked in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every evil pronouncement be revoked by the blood of Jesus. Nobody will be killed by Satan and his agents. Nobody will die. The children of God will live and declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. Shall we go ahead and pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that Lord, uh, evil prophecies, evil p- p- evil utterances, evil pronouncements, uh, they are revoked, they are rebuked in the name of Jesus. Uh, every prophecy of darkness uh, that would exalt Satan and lead to people of God being cut off, Lord, I revoke it. In the name of Jesus, I revoke it. Uh, I cancel it by the blood of Jesus. Uh, every evil pronouncement, uh, wherever it is coming from, we reverse it in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And then I saw as well another gathering. There were many people there. It was a huge gathering. There was a woman who was ministering at the front. But as I saw her, the word of God came. Jezebel is bewitching people in this place. None of them should let her lay her hands upon their heads. But there were people who were already in the prayer line. I want us to pray again and say, Lord, we arrest every strange spirit and every false minister who is laying hands on people and releasing some something other than the Holy Spirit into their lives. We revoke that evil programming in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we revoke. Has anyone, oh God, received the laying on of hands that has released something else other than the Holy Spirit? We revoke that program. We revoke that program. We revoke that program. We cancel it in the name of Jesus. Let all the heads of God's children be, be, be covered with Holy Ghost fire. Let the enemy be unable to program anybody for evil in the mighty name of Jesus. Reketele brado so brado sekele. Regado so brado skabalada. Regado so vredele bosia. Irakatolobo. We come against the Jezebel spirit that kills the prophets of God. We bind its powers. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare it's not permitted to function in the mighty name of Jesus. Le masun tele barabo shaya. Urabo son tolobo yanda. Let every head of every child of God be covered with Holy Ghost fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Finally, I saw new Bibles, new study Bibles, new study Bibles. I saw the Dake study Bible. I saw other big study Bibles and they were being distributed to us. We were so excited to receive the Bibles. And in that, um, in, in that uh, vision, I was saying to the Lord, Lord, I know some of the people in my prayer line have the Dakes Bible. I already advised them to buy it long time ago. And the Lord was saying, but they are not reading it. They have it, but they are not reading it. They are not studying it. I want us to pray this morning. The Lord wants us to study the Bible more. He wants you to study. If you don't have a study Bible, go and buy one. If you want to be referred to what to buy, please let us know. We will refer you. But please, let's go and study the Bible. I want us to pray into that dream that Lord, we receive, oh God, that fresh zeal to study the word. All of us who have studied Bibles, uh, we receive that zeal. We will study like never before. In this season, that our eyes of understanding are being opened uh, in the name of Jesus uh, so that we become strong in the inner man. Let's begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, none of us will sit on our study Bibles. Uh, let the word come as fresh. For the Bibles, I could see them. They were brand new. They were a gift to us. God has already given us the gift of his word. The word who is Jesus. The word is Jesus. And we've been given this gift. Every study Bible, oh God, let it begin to be used this morning in the name of Jesus. Touch everyone on this prayer line, oh God. Any study Bible they've put to the back because we're always reading phones. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let that come to an end. Let there be time for Bible study and reading systematically going through the Bible in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh 
Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, uh, for giving us this day our daily bread. Uh, and we know that our bread uh, is not necessarily <laughs> is not necessarily food. Uh, our bread is the word of God. Uh, Jesus says, I am the bread of heaven. I am the bread of heaven. Lord, help us to partake of the bread of heaven every single day in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen.